So hello and good evening, this is Rospozolo from Curval.com and today we are continuing the series about Vertipack. For those of you that don't know, Vertipack is the engine that runs on Power Pivot and Power BI, the engine and the database. And we have discussed on this series, and one of the things why Vertipack is so fast. On part one, we talk about data compression. On part two, we talk about what a color columnar database is and Vertipack is one of course and in this part three we're going to talk about segment elimination and this is a technique that Vertipack uses to eliminate data while querying right to be able to select only the data that is necessary for the query at hand so let's do a very quick recap on uh, this columnar database concept. You will have to go through the video, the previous video to fully grasp, but anyhow, what, what it does, a colum columnar database does, Vertipack in this case does, is it takes your table and it splits it in columns and it will store each column on separate files, as you, as you can see here. So if we would ask, for example, how many orders do we have for QuickStop? QuickStop is a customer here, company name. So what it will do is actually ignore all the columns that had not to do with our query. In this case, all of these are not necessary. It will completely ignore them. And then it will just go through the columns that apply. In this case, it's company name and order ID. So it will go through QuickStop, 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 and then it will get the rows that are needed from order ID. And this technique is called column elimination. Okay. Elimination. Um, you might think now that Vertipack engine is actually storing all this in one chunk. And it's actually not doing that. It's doing something much more smarter. Let's look into that. So what Vertipack is actually doing is something called segmentation. And segmentation is basically is dividing these columns into like partitions, if you would say, so segments. And uh, for Power Pivot, it is one million rows for SSAS. It is 8 million, that's what I read. And of course, the bigger the segment, the higher the chances of better compression, you know, because you will get more data and you will be able to compress it more. So let's say that Vertipack goes through this table, these columns, and it says, okay, I'm going to make the partition here. It is just about a million rows. Okay, so this will be one segment, this will be another segment, let's say, let's imagine that there are other segments below, right? And why are segments useful? Let's do this query. Let's say that we want to know how many orders do we have for a quick stop before 1996-08-15. Of course, I've made this date on purpose, but you will get the idea, I think. So what you see now is how Vertipack is seeing the data. Is This is, again, our segments. This is one segment, and this is the other one. And probably here there are other segments. Because we're choosing this date, it starts here, and we want to have data before that. And all the dates down here are after that. So we can say that all these, we don't need it. So all the segments that are below are not needed for our query. And then it will go here and it will say, okay, I have these, I don't need this column. I need this one, this one, this, this one, this one, and this one. I don't need that or that or that. So this is doing the column elimination. And this is doing the segment elimination. Okay. And now suddenly it just has a million rows to go through to actually find how many orders. And it goes so much faster. So traditional databases, we have, let's say we have a hundred columns. 
and we have a hundred million rows. For Vertica, Vertipack has been a columnar database, just by being a columnar database, you could just, for that query, you will need to go through three columns and again, a hundred million rows. But because we know that it's segmenting the data, in this case, you will need to go through three columns and one million rows because it's this segment right here that needs to go through and nothing else. And that is another reason why Vertipack is so fast. It's really, really clever, isn't it? I think it's just beautiful, <laughs> if you can say so. Well, so now we have another piece of the puzzle of the how Vertipack engine works. If you are enjoying this series, if you like to know more about Vertipack, let me know by liking the video. Share if you need if you know somebody that would like to know this too. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. And make sure you click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. Other than that, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.